serving Jamestown and Carrington and beyond. Call 952-1000, 652-3184, or see them on the web at dakotacentral.com. Otter Tail Power Company would like to remind you about the importance of high school athletics in the lives of children. Those extracurricular activities play a role in the education and development of those kids involved and provide a way for kids to learn some of life's most important lessons. Lessons that will take them through life with a sense of accomplishment and pride. Otter Tail Power Company would like to salute those athletes, coaches, and fans who make every season one to remember. You know you don't really want that hurry up, bought on the cheap, not sure what I got insurance coverage. Good, because Farmers Union Insurance Agents do things just a little different. We'll work with you personally for home, auto, business, or farm insurance and tailor the exact coverage plan you need because we're not satisfied until you are. Different, you bet. Farmers Union Insurance, simply different. Good luck to the Blue Jays and Jimmies from your local Farmers Union agent, Steve Benyon. Not all products underwritten by Farmers Union Insurance. Every body is different. Some experience injuries, while others need extra support. I'll help you, Grandma. At Jamestown Regional Medical Center, your health is what matters most. Our orthopedics and sports medicine team care for you and your unique needs. Their goal is to help you live your best life. Choose Jamestown Regional Medical Center for care of hips, shoulders, knees, and broken bones. Learn more at jrmcnd.com forward slash orthopedics. Sign-on bonuses, $10,000 for full-time RNs or LPNs working PM or NOC shifts, and $10,000 for full-time NOC weekend package positions, and $5,000 for part-time PM shifts. Also offering $5,000 for full-time CNAs working PM shifts or weekend package day PM or NOC shifts. Dietary positions available also. Apply at smphealth.org slash Ave Maria. Two Rivers Activity Center in Jamestown is now hiring. Track has openings for several part-time positions. Track offers a flexible schedule. We will work with you to make a schedule that fits your busy lifestyle. Track also offers a fun work atmosphere, and every employee of JPRD receives an employee pass, which provides free green fees at Hillcrest Golf Course, complimentary open skate at the Winter Sports Building, and free daily admission into Two Rivers Activity Center. Learn more about our open positions and apply online today at trackjamestown.com. Jamestown Jimmy men have three more chances to work on their game, which has gone well lately. Two straight wins, five of their last seven. Every time that interim head coach Rick Uland has talked with us lately, he's talked about stressing the defensive improvement, which we've certainly seen in this team. It happened Wednesday night in Sioux Center, Iowa. The Jimmys got off to a blazing hot start with a 21-point lead early over Dort. The defenders, to their credit, came back, forced four ties in the second half. But big plays laid, especially from Silas Benyon. Big three from Will Cordes, but Benyon played one of his best all-around games as a Jimmy for them to pick up their ninth win of the year in the G-Pack. Today, it's the Jimmys and a Mount Marty Lancer team that is just having a very, very difficult time, and they just don't have a whole lot of healthy bodies. Basketball continues at Harold Newman Arena at the University of Jamestown as the Jamestown Jimmies host the Mount Marty Lancers in men's basketball. David Burrow back with you. Thank you for joining us here on Jamestown 107.1 and Signal by 3G Media, which is AM 1400, also at NewsDakota.com. And remember, you can watch also. It's available at the... Jamestown Athletics YouTube page. Nine and eight for Jamestown as they are back home for the last three. Benyon was just so strong everywhere. He's now a 50% shooter for the season after his big game the other night of 23. At eight rebounds, six assists, and five steals. Silas is averaging two steals a game. He's averaging nearly three assists per game. He's a 44% three-point shooter in the top five in the G-Pack. He really makes this team go. Cole Woodford, however, keeps shooting threes. He's now up to 300 in his career, only the second Jimmy man ever to do that, joining Steve Hockert. Jimmy Linus had missed last Saturday's win over Midland with that ankle problem. 
They played him, according to Greg Ulin, maybe a little more than they wanted to. 26 minutes on Wednesday night in the win over Dort, 85-81, but it uh, still ended up uh, being a very good night for Jimmy with eight points and nine blocks. And again, Colby Vasquez with his usual strong game off the bench. Antonio Chandler contributing again off the bench with nine points. And the Jimmys just want to keep that going today. When they played Mount Marty and Yankton, you may remember, it got a little bit hairy. A, a team that, uh, like today, was dealing with a whole lot of problems. With players not around, Tash Lundy, their leading scorer, we didn't see him in Yankton because he had a death in his family. And we won't see him today because he is done for the season with a wrist injury. Their leading scorer, a sophomore from Flandreau, South Dakota, at just under 15 points a game so they've had to make adjustments in their lineup and another because uh, their uh, combination player he's six eight but he's uh, really a three or a four Anuk Acott is not here today he is hurt so Mount Marty is having to deal again with a whole lot of issues as they come into this game they're only two and sixteen in the G Pack. They did beat Northwestern. It did take that uh, three quarter court, 70 foot underhand three by Cole Bowen to do it. But uh, yeah, they did beat Northwestern. They beat a uh, Dort team whose season has really gone south three games ago. But the Lancers have lost two straight since then. They know they won't be in the G Pack tournament. So they know that they are just to. Uh, playing to try to make the end of this season a little bit better and the end of their season is Wednesday night on their home floor against Midland so only two more chances players on this team who would be seniors to play although Art is hurt Casey's been hurt it's Tristan Ferguson does play some but it is remarkable what has happened to this Mount Marty team this season. They have been through more than any team should ever have to go through. The Jimmies just want to focus on continuing to uh, have their improved play as both teams are back on the floor for their final few moments of warm-up. So as they are, let's take a look at this afternoon's starting lineups. First for the Mount Marty Lancers, Micah Johnson, a six-foot redshirt freshman from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, taking the place of Akon in the starting lineup. Six and a half points, 2.4 rebounds per game. Rugby Riken, this is a freshman. He's from Yankton. He has started a lot of the second half of the year for this team. He's fourth in the G-Pack and assisted four and a half a game. He's averaging 5.3 points and 2.9 rebounds. Jared Lopez at 6'5", and he's having to play the five today. This will tell you what's going on with this team. 6'5", junior from Lincoln, Nebraska, 10.1 points, 4.8 rebounds. Jake Jensen, the 6'3", sophomore from Vermilion, South Dakota, 6.8 points and 3.8 rebounds. And Cole Bowen, the 6'4", redshirt sophomore from Colorado Springs, Colorado, 12.6 points and 5.3 rebounds for Cole. He is having a pretty good year, 48% shooter, also two assists and a steal and a half per game. Colin Othier is the head coach of Mount Marty in his third season, 22 and 61. Dylan Gross and James Knudsen are the graduate assistants for him, and Sam Palmer is the student assistant. For the Jamestown Jimmies, it's Silas Benyon, the six foot junior from Eugene, Oregon, at 18.4 points, ninth in the league, 5.4 rebounds a game, 50% shooter, 44% on threes. That's tied for fourth in the G Pack. Cole Woodford, the 6'1 senior from Redwood Falls, Minnesota, at 12.5 points and 2.2 rebounds per game. Against 70 made threes, gives him 300 for his career, and he starts for the 101st time as a Jimmy today. Christian Leeds, the 6'4 fifth year senior from Castleton, 5.7 points and 3.9 rebounds a game. Christian's also up to 50% shooting this year. Will Cornus, the 5'11 senior from Shakopee, Minnesota, only three for him the other night, but a timely three pointer late for him. 10.9 points a game for Will, and his 111th start is 3.1 assists per game, or tied for 10th of the league. And Jimmy Linus, the 6'8 senior from Port St. Lucie, Florida, the St. Xavier University transfer, 
is at 9.3 points and a league best 9.8 rebounds a game, and that's 18th in the country. His 67 block shots are first in the league, and second in the country is 59% field goal shooting is fifth in the G Pack. Of course, Colby Vasquez and Antonio Chandler and Spencer Barr and Brooks Carroll all come off that bench. Greg Eulin, the interim head coach of the Jimmies, in that role, he is now 13 and 8. Matt Rohrbach is his assistant. Chuck Jansen, the graduate assistant. Hunter Thorpe, the student assistant. Jamestown wearing their home white uniforms today. Orange numerals and letters in black trim. Orange piping, it says uh, Jamestown vertically down the side of the shorts. Jamestown in script above the number in the front, the UJ logo in the back. Mom Barty, I like these unis. They are solid gold with the royal blue numerals and letters and the blue piping. So it is Jamestown and Mount Marty as basketball continues here at Harold Newman Arena with the 50th anniversary of Jimmy women's basketball to be celebrated at halftime. The opening tip for men's action comes your way next on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmies. The Frontier Forge invites you in for a true Dakota Territory dining experience. This unique location looks like an authentic 1800s fort. Head upstairs and you'll be greeted with the mouth-watering aroma of freshly grilled ribeyes and barbecued ribs. They're open from 4 to 9 Monday through Saturday. Their legendary prime rib is served on Fridays and Saturdays. Now hiring a full-time or part-time cook, call 252-7492. The Frontier Fort, on the road to the Buffalo, Jamestown. The Frontier Fort invites... The Frontier Fort invites you in. At Unison Bank, we provide financial solutions for customers to meet their needs today and achieve their dreams tomorrow. From personal banking services like checking accounts, mortgage, and auto loans, to business banking services. At Unison Bank, we offer financial solutions with prompt responses and quality service. Visit unisonbank.com for more information. Located in Jamestown, Linton, and Wishick, as well as Gilbert, Arizona. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. by as many as 16 in the second half. Vasquez had 15 off the bench in that game. Chandler 13. Will Cordes had 10. Jimmy Linus had 7 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 block shots. And again, Mount Marty, at least at the start of this game, isn't going any taller than 6 Five. Aiden Jensen, who also helps them out in the post from the bench, can't play today. And their other post players have barely played. Xander Benz and Chad Ambrose. So it could be, could be a pretty big day for Linus and for Chandler and maybe even for Christian Leach. You know, he can block shots. Jimmy's being introduced as most of the house lights are down here at Harold Duman Arena. And Mount Barty is on the floor with their starting five of Micah Johnson, Rugby Riken, Jared Lopez, Cole Bowen, and Jake Jensen. Jamestown with Silas Benyon, Cole Woodford, Christian leads Jimmy Linus and Will Cordes. Jamestown in white, Mount Barty in gold. And... Jamestown will shoot at the bucket to our right in the first half, Mount Marty to the left. But if you're watching us on the Jimmy Athletic YouTube page, their perspective just the opposite of ours. So here we go. Again, it's 6-5. It's Jared Lopez jumping center against Jimmy Linus. And as you can expect, Linus won the tip. Back to Christian Leitz. Jamestown with it first. And we hope you enjoy this afternoon's men's action from Harold Newman Arena. Will Cordes leaves it for Silas Benyon. Right wing on the ankle, it's Cole Woodford. A hand to Christian Leeds. Work it around the perimeter and set that offense for the first time. Jimmy Linus, high post, right elbow of the lane. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Another hand to Benyon with a line of screen. Silas cross court, left wing for Woodford. Faked the three, drove to the lane. Little dump for Leeds, seven on the timer. Leeds drives, runner in the lane, missing too long. Rebound, Mount Marty and Cole Bowen. Jimmy's took a lot of the clock in their first possession but couldn't score. 
Rugby Riken. Boy, has he got some shoes going. Uh, wow. There are about nine different colors on Rugby Riken's shoes. He hands it to Cole Bowen up top for Jake Jensen. Down to 10 on the mound, Marty shot clock. Lopez, right wing angle, three over Linus, no good. Cole Wood for the rebound for Jamestown. To Linus front alley, uh, front court in the left alley with a Linus screen. He's having to fight through it with a couple of Mount Marty players. Hand to Linus, left elbow in the lane. Jimmy backs down on Cole Bowen to the baseline, but left it short. Loose rebound, picked up by Jared Lopez for Mount Marty. To Rugby Riken and into the front court. I can't properly describe his shoes without a lot of thought. Well, one of the laces is red and one's gold. Let's start there. Riken has it, guarded by Binion. 12 on the shot clock. Bounce to Lopez, backing down on Linus. Little hook pass left wing to Jake Jensen. His three for the lefty, no good. Rebound, Jamestown, Silas Binion. Down floor with a pass deflected and intercepted. Jake Jensen, and then trying to gain it back was Silas Benyon, but he committed a foul. Instead, the first foul on either team in this game. 18-19 in the first half. No score yet. Micah Johnson, four mount Marty. On the right side with a bounce, it's Cole Bowen. Defender hit the floor, a three's good. Cole Bowen, number 22 of the year in Mount Marty, scores first. They're up three nothing, two minutes into the game. Jimmy's looking for their first point still. Leads to Silas Benyon, baseline, drives all the way and scores. Benyon has the Jimmy's first two. Oh, how solid he was on Wednesday night in Sioux Center. One of his best all around, maybe his best all around game. Here is a drive in the lane. Bowen had it blocked by Jimmy Linus. That's one. He may have a few today. He had four when these teams played in Yankton. Bowen straight away. Three is off the rim. Rebound Linus. Down floor for Cordes. Jimmy's look for their first lead. Will with a lob to Leach right of the lane. Riken guards him. Freshman against senior. Leach turn around. Bank miss. Rebound Jake Jensen. Down floor to Micah Johnson for Mount Marty. Lancers hold on to a 3-2 lead about three minutes in. Right wing three off the left rim by Jensen and Long. Silas Benyon with another board. He is on. That motor's running again at the start today. Driving the lane, counter with a foul. Benyon right to the middle of the lane for his second bucket. And was hacked by Micah Johnson for Mount Marty's first foul. And the Jimmies gain their first lead at 4-3 with all four points coming from Silas Benyon on two buckets. Now, there's only one speed in Silas Benyon's motor, and that's go, 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 77% for the Eugene Oregon Jr., the Lewis and Clark transfer. After he went to Churchill High in Eugene, he hit it. 5-3 Jamestown, 16-50 in the first half at Harold Newman Arena. Five in a row for Jamestown. Riken hands it off to Micah Johnson. Back for Rugby Riken. Bounce in the right corner for Jensen to Bowen. Left wing uh, Johnson and angle three is good. 20th three of the year for Micah Johnson. And the lead's back with Mount Marty at six to five. Three and a half minutes in. Antonio Chandler comes in at the next dead ball for Jamestown. He's waiting to arrive. Leads to Linus. Back top of the left wing for Silas Benyon. For Woodford trying to move off a rub. The left, uh, lefty jumper misses. Rebound Jensen. Left it in for Rugby Riken for Mount Marty. About four minutes in. Johnson on the right wing into the right corner. Jensen wants a three and hit it. Jake Jensen's 25th three and all three Mount Marty buckets have been from beyond the land of three and they're up 9-5. Cordes with a pass in the lane and... Uh, Bodies hit the floor. Riken got a hand on it. And Micah Johnson, however, is called for his second foul. Well, not only is Antonio Chandler into the game, so is Colby Vasquez. Vasquez, the 6'1 senior from Millbrae, California, at 11 and a half points a game. Antonio Chandler, the 6'5 junior from Piscataway, New Jersey, 9.8 points and six rebounds a game. And Damon Opdahl has come in from Mount Marty. He is a 6'1 freshman from Summit, South Dakota. Pass down low to Chandler, drives on the left block and is fouled. And Antonio will have two free throws. 
This one's on Jared Lopez, his first, and that's three on Mount Marty. So Chandler right away driving to the hole of two free throws as his reward. He's 74% at the line, and the first is good. Your home for UJ Jimmy. AM 1400 KQDJ Jamestown and 107.1 K296HH Jamestown. Both free throws good for Antonio. 9 to 7 Mount Marty. 1537 left in the first half at Harold Newman Arena. Rugby Riken to Jake Jensen. Hands it off to Cole Bowen. Swing it now on the right side from Lopez to Riken. Lob on the left side for Damon Opdahl. Playing around the perimeter. It's Jensen right wing on the angle trying to drive on Chandler. Missed the shot over Antonio. He couldn't hold on to the rebound, and Cole Bowen puts the foot back in. Five for Cole. Mount Marty by four again, and 11-7. 15-10 in the first half. Three of nine shooting the Jimmies. Two of six. Both teams struggling to start from the floor. Silas Benyon, right wing. Lopez guards him. Jimmy Linus on the right baseline. For a driving Cornis for a layup good. Well, Cornis didn't have his first field goal until very late in the game on Wednesday. Has two here and cuts the Mount Marty lead to 11 to 9. Jared Lopez for Jake Jensen. Right side outside the lane. Opdahl now for Rod B. Riken. Right side for Jake Jensen, who's already hit a three. Now straight away Lopez wants a three, but it's short. And there's another Silas Benyon rebound. That's three for him for Cordes in the front court, right wing. Sets, shoots a three. Rimmed out, rebound, Chandler tipped it out to Linus. Spencer Barr coming to the next dead ball. Second opportunity for Jamestown. 10 on their shot clock as Vasquez is into the lane but lost the ball on the way up. Linus is there to grab it and then throwing off the Mount Marty player and out of bounds. <coughs> Spencer Barr in for Jamestown, the 5'11 freshman from Aberdeen, South Dakota, 4.7 points Per game 22 made threes for Spencer seven on Jamestown shot clock 1409 left in the half it's into Vasquez driving into the lane and runs it in Colby's first two off the bench ties it at 11 first time the game's been tied 1355 in the half a bounce inside Chandler tried to steal it away but saved but came to Lopez now Jensen in the lane one bump with bar then another Basket went in, but the foul before the shot is on Spencer Barr of Jamestown. That's his first in the Jimmy's second. Now Marty makes a substitution, brings in Tristan Ferguson. Here is a senior, 6'6", from Algona, Iowa. 2.6 points, two rebounds a game, a transfer from Waldorf University. Of course, we'll see Waldorf next year in the NSAA. Three from the left corner, good for Rugby Riken. For Mount Marty, and the Lancers have made four threes, and they're back on top, 14 to 11. They're four of nine on threes, 13-42 and a half. Chandler to the lane with a drive, that little scoop that's so impossible to defend, and he put it in. Again, he kind of bends his body and does the Julius Erning dinner is serve move. Just a beautiful play. 14-13 for Mount Marty. Julius Irving, Google him. Cole Bowen, left wing baseline bump by Chandler. Antonio's first and the third team foul on the Jimmies. Six minutes and 40 seconds have been played here at Harold Newman Arena. With the inbound coming from Mr. 70-foot game-winning three-pointer Cole Bowen. Left wing, a Riken jumper rolls in, and Rugby now has five, and Mount Marty again by three. It's 16 to 13, 13, 10 and a half. Jimmy's are five of 10 shooting, but down three to a Mount Marty team that has only two conference wins, but playing hard at the start of this game. Cordes, 17-footer in the lane, got knocked down, no call. Shot missed. Damon Opdahl, the rebound for Mount Marty. To Cole Bowen and into the front court. Driving past Chandler, driving through Chandler. That's an offensive foul on Cole Bowen. His first and the fourth on the Lancers, and Antonio stood up very well down on the block. Will Cordes out, Cole Woodford back in for Jamestown. The Jimmy Five, Spencer Barr, Silas Benyon, Cole Woodford, Colby Vasquez, and Antonio Chandler. 
12.42 in the half, 16-13 Mount Marty Woodford trying to tie it three right side, back rim and long, rebound up there forward is Jake Jensen for Mount Marty. He's out there with Cole Bowen, Tristan Ferguson, Rugby Riken, and then also Damon Opdahl. Riken up top for Jensen, left wing to Opdahl, 12-22 in the half. Jake Jensen, ball above his head, right wing Rugby Riken. Starts a drive. Now has his, uh, passes it out to Optal, right wing six on the timer for Riken, a long three in front of the Jamestown bench, his long left rim. Rebound Cole Woodford. Dishes to Colby Vasquez and Jamestown in the front court for a straightaway three from Cole Woodford off the rim and Cole Bowen with a long reach with a rebound, 6-4. And again with Acott not here and Lunday at 6-6 done for the year. They do not have much of an inside presence. And Lopez on the bench at the moment. He started and he's 6-5. Here is a right wing angle three. Bowen short. Rebound, Cole Woodford. Now Marty's still up three. 16-13, long down floor to Chandler, but he's not able to stay in bounds. Pass a little too high and then brought Antonio down on the baseline. Just the second turnover so far here on the Jimmies and Mount Marty head coach Colin Othier once time out. 11.26 in the first half with Mount Marty leading Jamestown 16 to 13 on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmies. From baby bump and beyond, let me help you exercise safely during and after your pregnancy. I'm Brittany Ganarelli, the area's only pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist and doctor of physical therapy. Let me help you safely gain confidence in movement during and after your pregnancy. Come and see me at Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center. That's Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center in Jamestown, 701-952-2739. That's 952-2739. Men's scoreboard morning sign off to a good start against Jones. He is 13 to 2 in three three minutes in. And Jones is really struggling. Morning side, a game out of the lead shared by Concordia and Hastings. Concordia plays a Dort leader. Hastings just underway against Briarcliff and Midland is leading Northwestern early on. 10 3 in Fremont, about five minutes in. Here at 16 13, Mount Marty with 11 15 to go in the half. Tristan Ferguson with a pan back to Cole Bowen. Left of the lane, makes a drive. Nice scoop and score. And Bowen, yeah, I know. We, we talk about that three-pointer he hit, but this guy's a pretty good player and a good creator and scorer. He has seven points, and it's 18-13, Mount Marty. Nine minutes have been played. Fadeaway Vasquez got bumped and fouled from a shot just beyond the foul line. He'll have a couple of free throws. Jake Jensen with that foul. That's his first, and that's five on Mount Marty. So Colby Vasquez, a 78% foul shooter, is there for two. And the first is rimming out. First miss for the Jimmies after they've made three. Christian Lee centers for Silas Benyon. Will Corda centers for Spencer Barr. 10.55 in the half. Jamestown down five. 18-13 to Mount Marty. They led once early. One more for Vasquez. This one is good. His third point. 18-14, Mount Marty by four. Pressure in the backcourt as it comes into Rugby Riken for the Lancers. They're from right to left as we see it in the first half. Jamestown left to right. Left in the lane, it's Tristan Ferguson. Cole Bowen spins and a nice bounce for Ferguson for a drive, but Linus made him change it. Missed it, Linus the rebound. He didn't get a block, but Linus got his big arm up there. Leeds up front for Vasquez. Right wing Woodford. Right corner Will Cordes for Jamestown. To the baseline. Cut off there. Is able to get a pass away, but it's intercepted by Mount Marty and Jake Jensen. And then it went off of Jimmy and out of bounds. Thalen Schroeder. This is one of the players they've just called up from their JV, and he's into the game for Mount Marty. This is how bad it's been for this team. Damon Optall. 
for a left wing three for Riken that's off the rim. Schroeder trying to run the rebound down Ken. It's out of bounds to Jamestown. This is the first varsity game for Schroeder. And this is how deep that Colin Othier has had to go with all the injuries on this team. They're 6 and 18 overall. They're 2 and 16 in the G Pack. Christian Leeds hands it for Hobie Vasquez, but they're leading Jamestown here, 18-14, 9.37 and a half. It is to Woodford on a cut to the rim, left baseline over the rim, Linus, offensive board, follows, missed, rebound, Bowen. Linus had a bunny for a putback try, but it didn't go, and Mount Marty keeps their four-point lead. Rugby right on the left wing, nice bounce to Schroeder, but threw it over the rim, tipped. Woodford does have the rebound. Whips the pass, right wing Will Cordes, long one to the front court. Well, Marty is back defensively. Cordes backs his defender down. That's Riken. Fade away from 13 off the rim. And the rebound to Damon Opdahl for Mount Marty. And the Jimmy struggling shooting so far. Just 5 of 16. Cole Bowen with a screen. By Ferguson. Left wing now for Rugby Riken. I can't believe these shoes. Whips the pass in the left corner for Schroeder who wants a 3. And it's off the rim. And it's rebounded by Jamestown, by Cole Woodford. Vasquez back to Will Cordes in the front court. 8.34 and a half. Mount Marty leading Jamestown 18 to 14. Jimmy's trying to get their offense going. Vasquez to the baseline, stripped away and out of bounds. 14 on the shot clock. As Silas Fenyon returns for the Jimmys. Jared Lopez back in for Mount Marty and in for the first time for the Lancers. Noah Allen, a 5'10 sophomore from Newton, Iowa. 3.6 points per game. 14 on the shot clock as the lob is the Linus. Out front to Will Cordes for the Jimmies who were down four with 8.20 and a half. Left wing Binion made Bowen miss, drove to the baseline. Out front for Cordes. Three with four on the shot clock. Off the back rim, but Christian Leitz has the offensive four and then he's fouled. Schroeder tried to steal it away, but Thalen fouled him instead. That's his first, and that's 16 fouls on uh, Mount Marty. Pass on the left wing to the corner for a three by Woodford that's no good. And Jared Lopez with a rebound. And the Jimmies cannot get their shooting going. Well, they started so well Wednesday night in Sioux Center, but they are struggling at the start of the day. And down four, they're only five of 19 from the floor, 26%. Micah Johnson's back in, bounce to Lopez. Left wing, a three by Noah Allen is missing. And Silas Benyon, the rebound. Just 33% shooting for Mount Marty, but they have the four-point lead. Benyon up top, Linus trying to set a screen. Benyon down the right late line, four and Linus, two and Jimmy Jam. Screen and roll into a dunk. 18-16 Mount Marty, 7.25 and a half. Cole Bowen on Leeds, brings it out front to Micah Johnson into the left corner for Schroeder. Baseline pass, knocked out of bounds by Silas Benyon. As Antonio Chandler returns for Jamestown. He'll replace Jimmy Linus. Thalen Schroeder out there with Cole Bowen. Micah Johnson, Jared Lopez, and Rugby Riken from Mount Marty. 15 on their shot clock. Inbound baseline. Johnson drives and scores. Second bucket for Micah. 20 to 16 for Mount Marty. 7.09 remains in the first half. Out front to Leeds. Cole Woodford, top of the wing. Had it knocked away, but he regained it. Allen tipped it away from him. Now. It's Benyon for Leeds, right wing. Three on the timer and knocked out of bounds by Mount Marty Schroeder, but there's only one on the shot clock as Jamestown is set to inbounds. This has to be one pass, catch and shoot, and Jimmy Linus will be right back on the floor to replace Christian Leeds. This is gonna have to be a fast, fast release by the Jimmies with one on the shot clock and 6.46 left in the half, down four, 20 to 16. It is Leeds in mid-air, and it rolled off. Well, they almost made it work. Schroeder the rebound for Mount Marty. To Noah Allen. To Micah Johnson up top. Tries to start a drive right of the lane, and lost the ball. Picked up by Cole Woodford. And then Micah Johnson fouled him. 
Uh oh, for Mount Marty. That's three on him. 17 foul put Woodford on the line, but Johnson will have to come out. Jake Jensen and Damon Opdahl are back in for the Lancers. And Christian Leach right back in for Jimmy Linus. And Cole Woodford's at the foul line. 77 per city. He hasn't been there a lot. 24 of 31. 14th leading scorer in the history of this program. Hits the front end on the one and one. 20 to 17 for Mount Marty with 632 remaining in the first half. Don't fall, Reagan Johnson. They need you out there. One more for Woodford. <laughs> and he's good. What is Reagan Johnson doing up there? Jimmy Women winners today, 69-47 over Mount Marty. 20 to 18, Mount Marty's men lead, 624 in the half. Bowen with a drive below. Great dish. Lopez layup. Good. Before Chandler could get back defensively. Well done by Mount Marty. 22-18, they lead with 6-13 and a half. Cornus, middle of the right wing. Christian leads for the Jimmies. Who led once very early on, but Mount Marty has led most of this half. Woodford, ooh, nearly walked with it. Fade away, hit it with 11 on the shot clock. First bucket for Cole. Cutting the Mount Marty lead to two again, 22 to 20. 550 remaining in the first half. Cole Bowen to Jake Jensen. Hands it for Noah Allen for Damon Opdahl between the rings. Left side now, Cole Bowen with 14 on the shot clock. Backs up for a two, he's on the arc, it missed. Christian leads the Jamestown rebound. Jimmy's can tie or lead this trip. Cordes long down floor to Chandler, but couldn't hit the bunny as he was in midair when he took the pass and shot it just a little too hard. Cole Bowen has the rebound for Mount Marty. Into the front court with a right wing pass for Damon Opdahl. Now in the right corner, it's Jake Jensen. For Lopez again, left corner. For Noah Allen with eight on the shot clock now. Just over five minutes in the half. Jensen with five on the shot clock. Backs up for a left wing three. That's good. Jensen's second three. And Mal Marty ties the longest lead of the game at five. 25 to 20. 455 left in the first half. Jimmy's only a 30% shooting down five points. Good pass down low. Woodford to Christian Leitz for a driving layup. First two for Christian. Five, six, seven. Jimmy's have already scored today, but they're still down three. 25 22, 435 in the first half. Cole Bowen, left of the lane, stops on the elbow for a left wing three by Noah Allen. That's an air ball. Rebounded by Antonio Chandler for Jamestown. Left wing, Will Cordes quickly into the front court of the Jimmy's. For a three and a left wing to tie. Good. Will Cordes is 32nd this season. And it is tied at 25. Second time the game's been tied. 4-10 left in the first half. Five in a row quickly. Straight away and up to all three to answer. And Damon hit it. For Mount Marty is 20th of the year. 28-25 for Mount Marty, who knocked an entry pass out of bounds. They bring Rugby Riken back in. Spencer Barr and Colby Vasquez both back in for Jamestown. 3.59 in the half. Mount Marty making it tough on Jamestown. They're playing pretty good defense. They've held the Jimmies to 36% shooting. Mount Marty at 41% shooting. The Lancers are up three. Vasquez in the lane. Right side. Hands it off to Will Cordes. Fade away from 19. Rimmed out. Rebound Jake Jensen and Mount Marty. Jensen. It's to Opdahl. Just hit that three a moment ago. Right wing, Allen, in some traffic. Hands it back out to Optal with Vasquez to guard him. Hand to Riken in front of the Jamestown bench to Jared Lopez. Right baseline, double team, so it brings it out to Riken. Left wing, Optal and open. Once another three. Air ball this time, but Lopez with the offensive board. Didn't hit the rim for him. The shot clock pass back into Lopez, and he floats one in from six feet. Back to a five-point mount. Marty lead at 30-25. to 25. Lopez has four. 3-12 left in the half. Mount Marty getting a second chance and taking advantage again. When's the offense going to get going for Jamestown? Spencer Barr will start it with an entry to Chandler, and he was knocked astride before the pass came to him by Mount Marty by Rugby Riken, and that is his first. Team foul number eight is going to put Tony on the line for a one-and-one. One. Jimmy Line is set to come in, but it would be for... Chandler, who made a couple of free throws earlier. 3.02 in the half. 
Mount Marty 30, Jamestown 25 in men's basketball at Harold Newman Arena. Chandler with the front end, he hit it. Jamestown, seven of eight at the line now. They're within four. Mount Marty leads 30 to 26. One more for Antonio on the way, on the board. Six points for Chandler. Jimmy Linus now in for him. Silas Brennan has five. Will Cordes has five. Cole Woodford, four. Colby Vasquez, three. Christian Leeds and Jimmy Linus with two each. So a lot of Jimmys have been in the scorebook so far, but they're still down three. Lopez with a pass in the left corner, open Noah Allen, but it's short off the left rim. Good position for the rebound by Jake Jensen, but threw it off the rim. Lot of contact, no foul. Now there's one call, this line has had the rebound. Now Marty clamoring for a foul in the first rebound action, but call is Jensen for a foul on the second one, his second. Team foul number nine puts Jimmy Linus at the line for the last one and one and a half for Jamestown, the Jimmies have only three team fouls. Linus, 68% at the line. Chandler just made the front end of a one and one. What will Jimmy do? He hit it. His third point, 30 to 28 for Mount Marty at 245 and the half. The former Centennial West High Eagle in Port St. Lucie hit them both. 30 to 29, Mount Marty, 240 and a half. Riken, baseline, Cole Bowen, dish it for a right wing three by up. Oh, halfway down and out. Linus going for that rebound, ended up in a dual possession. Arrow points to Mount Marty. with 2.34 to go in the first half. Good play by Jared Lopez to keep that ball in the Lancers' possession. He came down with Linus, who tried to grab that rebound. Rugby Riken inbounds in the left wing for a fadeaway 17-footer. That's good by Jensen. He hit the floor, wanted a foul on Vasquez. They didn't call it, but Jensen's up to eight, and it's Mount Marty by three at 32-29. 2.20 to go in the first half, and a cold shooting Jamestown team has trailed most of the first stanza. Linus with a dish out left wing to Woodford, out front to Colby Vasquez. Colby in the middle of the lane, spin, 14 footer, Colby knocked it down. His second bucket, and he has five. Mount Marty leads 32 31 with two minutes to go in the first half. Rugby Riken to the right baseline. Kick it for an open Jensen briefly before Vasquez came over to defend him, but overplayed and fouled him. First on Colby and the fourth team foul on Jamestown. And Silas Benyon comes in for Spencer Barr with 1.54 remaining in the first half. Jake Jensen to inbound. Left wing, quarter court. Out front for Rugby Riken. Finds Jensen on the right side. Now Riken again up top with a screen. Bounce on the baseline to Cole Bowen. Pumps, fakes, once scores. Oh, good job there as he was going against Linus. Nine for Bowen, 34-31. Mount Marty with 135 and a half. Hook pass from Cordes for a right wing three. Good by Woodford. Cole hits the second three made by the Jimmies today, and that's his 71st of the year, and it's tied at 34. 120 and a half. Riken, right side to Jake Jensen for Mount Marty. Vasquez knocked the ball away from him. Jensen picked it back up to Optal. Back between the rings for Bowen. 10 on Mount Marty's shot clock now. 107 and a half. Left corner, it's Riken. Baseline bump by Will Cordes with four on the shot clock. Cordes first five team fouls, so no free throws. But that shot clock goes to 20 for Mount Marty with a minute three left in the half. And they'll inbound in their offensive end in a tie game at 34. Riken lobs it too far. Tip Mike Bowen, but Jensen's there to take it up. One minute to go in the half. Damon Optal wants a Lopez screen. Ball knocked away by Benyon and out of bounds. 55.7 in the half and 13 on the shot clock for Mount Marty, they will inbound 
Right sideline, only about 10 feet in the front court. Pass in the backcourt to Riken. Crosses the timeline with nine on the shot clock, driving on Cordes. Rugby into the left corner for Damon Opdahl. Three, that's off the right rim, and not able to hang on to the rebound is Jake Jensen because he was pushing off. And that's his third. Jensen and Johnson both have three fouls, and for an already thin Mount Marty team, that is double O trouble. And it's the 10th team foul that means two free throws here for Colby Vasquez, who split a pair earlier, and he tries to give the Jimmies their first lead since the first couple of minutes of this game. 44.1 left in the half, tied at 34. Not anymore, he hit it. Jamestown's back in front, 35 to 34. Eli Olson is in for the first time, a six-foot freshman from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's to get Jensen off the floor with his three fouls. Vasquez has one more. He's good. 36-34 Jamestown, 44.1 left in the half. The inbounder rugby Riken steams down the right alley. Left lane line from 12. Missed everything. Jimmy Linus, the rebound, Jamestown. Kawil Cordes. Jimmy's have a chance to take the lead into the half. 30 seconds on the game clock, about seven more than on the shot clock. So Will Cordes will take a little time, not being closely guarded. Now he is by Riken. So he hands it back to Cole Woodford. 20 on the game clock. Woodford, left wing, Will Cordes. And an angle three from that side is off the back rim. And Linus trying to reach over for that rebound. Bumped into uh, Jared Lopez. And Linus fouls his first in the sixth in the Jimmies. 11.3 and a half. So Mount Marty will inbound down two. They must come full court. Cole Bowen into rugby Riken. Nine seconds and eight across the timeline. Riken for a driving, Bowen lost the ball. Picked up by Linus, but intercepted by Opdahl for Lopez for a three at the buzzer that's short. Jamestown does, however, take the lead into the half after trailing much of this first half. The shooting has struggled for Jamestown in the first 20 minutes. They're only at 38%, but they've held Mount Marty to 39% shooting. And at the half, and Harold Newman. like to recognize some of the greatest teams and achievement of Jimmy women's basketball in celebration of their 50th year. 
Beginning in the 1975-1976 season, the inaugural Jimmy women's basketball team began a tradition of competitive excellence and laid a firm foundation that continues today. Playing in the historic Hanson Gym, the Jimmys were led by Jeannie Buehler, Sandy Reeling, Cindy Bartholomew, Marsha Masterson, Carol Byer, Tony O'Toole, Deb Wilson, Jane Nagel, and Sandy Zaradka. Katie Fisher was the first Jimmy Women's Basketball All-American, earning back-to-back first-team recognition in 1980 and 1981. The 1983-84 Jimmys were the first of 12 Jimmy teams to compete at the NAIA National Tournament. Coach Robert Kohler led the Jimmys to a 22-win season. Kristen Erickson, Deborah Clark, Carol Steinman, Kathy Williams, and Kathy Keenan still hold individual accomplishments in the Jimmy women's basketball record books from that squad. Beginning in 1985, Lori Polson led the Jimmys for 19 seasons. Under his coaching, the Jimmys won four NBCAC championships, one DAC title, and played in the NAIA National Tournament in 1999-2000 season. With 1,801 career points, Carrie Bakker earned All-American status twice and still stands as the Jimmy's career scoring leader. Mark Weiss's head coaching tenure began in 2004. In 2006, Brietta Bowerman faced the Jimmy's and was named All-American. In 2009 and 10, the Jimmy's Hall of Fame team tallied 26 wins, including the DAC Tournament Championship, and led by All-American Julie Veriano, advanced to the round of 16 at the NAIA National Tournament in Sioux City. Greg Eulin's eight-year stretch as head coach saw the Jimmys compete as an NAIA Independent and North Star Athletic Association member. All-Americans Hannah Steele, Bridget Schudeman, Jessica Buck, Kyra Dewald, and Brent Woodside, Woodside led the Jimmys to the National Tournament seven seasons in a row. This run culminated in the 2017-18 team winning a school record 31 games and advancing to the Elite Eight at the National Tournament. The Jimmy women are finishing year six in the GPAC under head coach Thad Sankey, and last season's team returned to the second round of the NAI National Tournament. Anna DeMars led the Jimmys to GPAC success and finished her career as a two-time All-American. In recognition of the alumni and coaches who made an impact through basketball, we are thankful for the tradition of excellence through the first 50 years of Jimmy women's basketball and look forward to an exciting future. Jimmy fans, let's hear it. Join together in celebrating 50 years of Jimmy women's basketball. Seven point one. This is the voice of the Jimmys. How are you doing? Really? How are you doing? Are you taking the time to check in on you? 
a real check-in. Scheduling a wellness visit is an easy way to take care of yourself. At Essential Health, we want to know how you're doing. We want to help. Whether it's face-to-face -face or a virtual appointment, the right care is waiting for you. We'll listen, assess how you are, and get you back on track. It's always good to check in. Care like nowhere else. Essential Health. Schedule online at EssentiaHealth.org. Where do you find the friendliest staff, largest selection, lowest prices, and the freshest produce? Hugo's in Jamestown. But what if you can't go to the store? Hugo's Family Marketplace offers online shopping. You can shop all the departments and all the sales at GoHugos.com. Choose pickup or Hugo's delivery service, and they'll do the in-store shopping for you. Hugo's Family Marketplace, online shopping at GoHugos.com. You're going to find more low prices, more great stuff when you go to Hugo's. <laughs> Action. Jamestown over Mount Marty, 69 to 47. Kaya Tower with a big day with 15 points. 14 for Audrey Rodakowski. Another good day from the floor for Audrey with 7 of 10 shooting. Six rebounds and assist a couple of steals. Kate Cordes had 11. And Jamestown with the victory improved to 12 and 8 in the G-Pack. And they stay in that three-way tie for third place. They are a game behind Briarcliff. And they'll host the Chargers here at Harold Newman Arena on Wednesday. In other University of Jamestown sports, track and field in the uh, GPAC Indoor Championships, Mount Marty hosting those in Yankton. After one day of the GPAC Men's Wrestling Championships, Concordia hosting those in Seward, Nebraska. The Jimmies were in sixth. Minot State beat Jamestown last night in Minot in ACHA Women's Hockey 4-1 to one in the next to the last regular season game for the Jimmies and they're playing right now again in Minot and also Jamestown is playing in the semifinals of the Midwest Collegiate Hockey Tournament in ACHA Division I men's hockey today against Midland and uh, the GPAC men's wrestling and uh, indoor track and field championships are continuing today also. Again, Briarcliff here on Wednesday. Hope to see you at Harold Newman Arena. Women at six, men after that. If not, we'll have it for you here on Jamestown 107.1, beginning at 5.30. Before that, on Tuesday on Jamestown 107.1, Blue Jay basketball at Dickinson. Both teams close the regular season. Girls first, and they need a win on Tuesday to avoid playing in the WDA play-in game. Yes, they have one more chance to avoid playing in that play-in game. They would if they win in Dickinson on Tuesday. If not, they would have to go to Williston late next week to play in that play-in game after they lost to the Coyotes at the Civic Center last night. Boys' regular season also concludes Tuesday. They know already they're the seventh seed for the WDA tournament. 6.15 on Tuesday night from Dickinson here on Jamestown 107.1. Then the Jimmies on Wednesday, and uh, the last off-season edition of Inside Twins next Thursday at 6. And a reminder that a week from tomorrow, Sunday, February 25th, Twins baseball for 2024 gets underway on Jamestown 107.1. The first of the spring training games will bring you will be the Twins and the Red Sox from Fort Myers. In case you missed it earlier today, all oh, the Jamestown Blue Jays and boys hockey so strong yesterday in their 6-1 to victory over Williston to stay alive in the WDA tournament. In what had to be a bit of surprise to a lot of people, Century, the top seed after they went 17-1 in the regular season, lost to Dickinson in the semifinal last night. So it was the Jimmies who got Century today, and they led that excellent Patriot team one to nothing through two periods. But Century came back, scored twice in the third period, and ended the Blue Jays season with a 2-1 to one win. So no uh, boys state hockey for the Blue Jays this year. That ends their streak at two. And no girls state hockey either as the Jimmies were eliminated on Thursday night. Second half of men's basketball ahead for you here from Harold Newman Arena as Jamestown trying to get their offense going. They regain the lead late in the first half against this again very brave and very stubborn Mount Marty Lancer team. It's Jamestown 36, Mount Marty 34. At halftime, and the second half is next from Harold Newman Arena on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmies.
Why choose professional eye care centers? Let me count the whys. First, there are now four great doctors to see. Dr. Frank, Dr. Freilich, Dr. Tangela, and now welcoming Dr. Bond. Next is their many locations. You can now see one of their spectacular doctors in Jamestown, Valley City, Carrington, Edgeley, Ellendale, and Lamore. And finally, their fantastic frame selection. And yes, all of their frames and lenses are backed up by warranty. Visit ProEyeCareCenters.com and make an appointment today. Professional eye care centers, clearly the best. Before you can start building a business, you have to have great builders. Hillebird Construction is a builder of high-quality commercial buildings, and they're hiring talented labor and carpenters to help them do just that. Vacation, paid holidays, 401k, and health insurance benefits for full-time employees, plus great pay depending on experience. Apply at 1008 2nd Avenue Southeast, Jamestown, or visit hillerudconstruction.com. Again, visit hillerudconstruction.com, and let's get building. What would life be like without telephones, internet, and digital cable? Ah! Let's not even go there. Dakota Central is proud to be the local company that provides you with these high-tech communication options. Whether it's the crystal clear telephone connection, the digital cable that produces over 150 channels, HD and DVR, or reliable high-speed internet. Dakota Central provides it all, serving Jamestown and Carrington and beyond. Call 952-1000, 652-3184, or see them on the web at dakotacentral.com. Otter Tail Power Company would like to remind you about the importance of high school athletics in the lives of children. Those extracurricular activities play a role in the education and development of those kids involved and provide a way for kids to learn some of life's most important lessons. Lessons that will take them through life with a sense of accomplishment and pride. Otter Tail Power Company would like to salute those athletes, coaches, and fans who make every season one to remember. Boys hockey on our minds. And, uh, what an effort they put forth. What an effort Louis Shelbert put forth in goal today. And great thanks again to our friend Mark McKenzie, who of course normally would be here with PA, but was in Bismarck for that Blue Jay game today. And our thanks to him all season long for covering Blue Jay hockey so well. And Mark, hang around. We may make use of you during the spring sports season. We'll cover Jimmy baseball and softball before too much longer, but we still have some basketball to cover for you. We know the Jimmy men will be in the GPAC tournament, the Jimmy women with pretty good opportunity to be there too. A week from Wednesday is when the GPAC postseason tournament begins. Jamestown leading Mount Marty in men's action 36-34 at halftime here at Harold Newman Arena. Second half about to start, and the Jimmys have their starting five out there. Silas Benyon, Cole Woodford, Christian Leeds, Jimmy Linus, and Will Cordes. Mount Marty remains in their huddle, allowing head coach Colin Authier. And he will bring out... His starting five of Micah Johnson, Rothy Riken, Jared Lopez, Cole Bowen, and Jake Jensen. Christian Leeds just to our left will inbound as Jamestown has the arrow. The second half is underway. It's into Will Cordes. Jamestown wide of the bucket to our left. Cordes with a drive right of the lane. Misses. Lightness offensive board. Half of him scores. You know, that's what the Jimmies want to see uh, more of from Linus in the second half, taking advantage of this enormous advantage they have in the post today. 38-34, Jamestown. That's the Jimmies longest lead of the game. Just underway in the second half. Lopez, left wing for Johnson. Middle of the left wing, Jensen. Now a drive by Johnson, and Micah Johnson from nine feet left of the lane scores. Seven for him. 38-36, Jamestown. Silas Benyon to the baseline. Bounce for Linus to and Jimmy Jam. Second dunk of the day for Jimmy. And again, they got to prove the point here. You got to think from Jamestown's point of view. Look, you don't have anybody in the post. We got somebody pretty good. 40 to 36. 
for Jamestown. Jensen cut off with a double team. Right wing, Cole Bowen with a three off the rim, but he ran his own rebound down, floated it in. Hustle there by Bowen, caught the Jimmys flat-footed. He's up to 11. 40 to 38, Jamestown. 18.40 still to play in anybody's game here at Harold Newman Arena. Jumper from the baseline, missing by Cornish Linus offensive board. Back out front to Cordes. Left wing for Woodford with a Christian lead screen. Bounce to Woodford to Leeds left baseline. Spins once, twice on Johnson. Lob it out for Silas Benyon. Six on the shot clock. Benyon with four on the timer. Stops at the foul line, held. Ooh, by Lopez. What a bailout that is with two on the shot clock. His second foul. Team foul number one. You play good defense for 28 seconds and then you commit a foul. Mm. James Tonnell inbound to Benyon. Backs off for a three right wing bottom. Benyon is three for three today. Only three shots, but he's hit them all. And that three gives Jamestown its first five-point lead at 43-38. Right into the lane. Hand on it by Linus. That's two. Two blocks down floor from Cordes to Benyon. Baseline for Silas. Hit it. With a floater in the lane. He's four for four. Colin off here once timeout. Suddenly the Jamestown lead is seven. 17.52 to go, Jamestown 45, Mount Marty 38. One more life in the Jimmies on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmies. You know you don't really want that hurry up, bought on the cheap, not sure what I got insurance coverage. Good, because Farmers Union Insurance Agents do things just a little different. We'll work with you personally for home, auto, business, or farm insurance and tailor the exact coverage plan you need because we're not satisfied until you are. Different, you bet. Farmers Union Insurance, simply different. Good luck to the Blue Jays and Jimmies from your local Farmers Union agent, Steve Benyon. Not all products underwritten by Farmers Union Insurance. You love sports. Hey! So do we. You know, the thrill of victory and the agony of injury. Hey, injuries happen. Thankfully, JRMC Orthopedics is ready to act fast. As the official sports medicine team for Blue Jay Athletics, athletes and their fans can choose the home team for their care. Call 952-4878 for quick injury attention. Home Team Sports Medicine. It's right here at JRMC. Linus had a dunk. Linus had a putback. Lopez for Mount Marty. Hands it to Cole Bowen. Left wing for Jake Jensen. Floats it down for Lopez in the lane with a double team. Threw the ball away. Silas Benyon with yet another steal. Averages two of them per game. Lob for Linus. Baseline. Oh, Cole Bowen. Good play. Got a hand on that. And Micah Johnson, his teammate, is there to pick it up for Mount Marty. Left corner three for Jensen quickly off the back rim. Will Cordes on the run with the rebound for Jamestown. Right wing Woodford up top for Silas Benyon. Stops in the circle. 17. He's good again. He's five for five. And he has seven in the half and 12 for the game. And just like that, it's Jamestown by nine. 47 38. 9 4 lead to uh, run to start the half. Johnson is smashed here by Cole Woodford for his first and Jamestown's first team foul of the second half. But the shooting's better, the motion's better in the first three minutes of this half for Jamestown. Now, can they keep it going? It's Mount Marty with the ball here with Rugby Riken, the talented freshman from Yankton for a driving layup. Oh, went off the rim by Jensen, gained his own board and a double team got fouled. So we'll have free throws after he missed a bunny. This is on Jimmy Linus, and that is his second. And it's Jamestown's second in the half. Jensen at the line. For two, he's missing the first free throw of this game for Mount Marty. So the best he can do is cut the Jimmy Lee to eight. One more for Jake. They both missed, rebound. Silas Benyon for Jamestown. 
47-38, Jimmy, 16, 35 to go. Woodford is straight away three. Yes, sir! Cole Woodford has his second of the game, and the Jimmy's fourth made three, and now, just like that, it's Jamestown by 12 at 50 to 38. Riken left of the lane, banker from 10. That didn't go. Linus is up there for the rebound. Tapped it to himself off the glass. Up to Benyon in the front court. Driving on Cole Bowen. Linus works off a screen, catches the lob left of the lane. 16 minutes to go. Linus, Bowen defends him, turns around, hook over him, good. Linus now with 10, James down by 14. 54-38, 15.50 to go. It's early in the second half in this game that the Jimmies have it going. Micah Johnson, fade away, right of the lane, hit it from 13 feet. Nine for Micah, 52 to 40 for Jamestown. 15 and a half minutes to go. It was a 16 to four run to start this half. A drive in the lane by Woodford, missed, tipped, and came to Jensen, and Jake is fouled by Christian Leeds, who said, hmm, what? I didn't do anything. His first team foul number three. Antonio Chandler comes in for Jamestown for Jimmy Linus. Mount Marty with the ball, so let's set their five. Rugby Riken in there with Cole Bowen, Jaron Lopez, Jake Jensen, and Micah Johnson. That's their starting five. Riken with a left hand dribble. Top of the left wing, it's Micah Johnson. Benyon to guard him. To Riken, bounce in the lane for Lopez. Drives for a layup, good, nice play. Six for Lopez, it's 52-42 Jamestown. About five minutes gone in the second half. Cordes for Cole Woodford, top of the right wing. Leaves it for Colby Vasquez. Chandler with a screen for any, just came in for Linus. Drive by Vasquez, all the way to the hole and away up. Another silky move by Colby and he has nine. 54-42 for Jamestown, 14-45 left leading Mount Marty. Rugby Riken directs traffic, finds Jared Lopez on the right baseline in a double team, trying to make a steal and doing so. Colby Vasquez, three on one to lob for Chandler, drives left, good foul. Woodford was the other man on the break. He found Antonio Chandler for the layup and the Jimmies are up 14 again. And that's the third foul on Jared Lopez of Mount Marty and the second team foul on the Lancers in the half. Eight for Chandler, who went four out of four at the line in the first half. This is to give the Jimmies a 15-point lead. Good. As Tristan Ferguson re-enters for Cole Bowen for Mount Marty. 57-42, Jamestown now leads Mount Marty by their largest margin, 15, 14 and a half minutes to go. Rugby Riken. He of many brothers that performed well at Yankton High School. Rugby stayed at home to go to college. Ferguson hands it for a three on the left side. Colt Bowen knocked it down. And Mount Marty wants timeout. 14-12 remaining. Jamestown now with a 12-point lead over Mount Marty at 57 to 45 on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmies. Sign-on bonuses, $10,000 for full-time RNs or LPNs working PM or NOC shifts and $10,000 for full-time knock weekend package positions, and $5,000 for part-time PM shifts, also offering $5,000 for full-time CNAs working PM shifts or weekend package day PM or knock shifts. Dietary positions available also. Apply at smphealth.org slash Ave Maria. Mount Marty 57 to 45, 14.05 remains. Colby Vasquez dribbled it off his foot and out of bounds to Mount Marty. And, ooh, Colby's hurting his shoulder a little bit. He's going to stay out there. 
Stretches it out a little bit. Colby's had an ankle that's bothered him from time to time. But again, this time of the year, there are little knocks like that among every team in college basketball at the end of February, huh? Here is a drive into the lane by Ferguson, stripped with a foul two by Antonio Chandler. Of James, nope, uh, excuse me, it's Vasquez. And that's the second on Colby and the fourth team foul of the second half on the Jimmies. But in either case, it's a couple of free throws for Tristan Ferguson, who is seven out of eight at the line this year. The senior from Algona, Iowa, too strong. The transfer, as we mentioned earlier, from Waldorf University. That is in Forest City, Iowa. And the Jimmies will play them next year in the NSAA. The second one's good for Ferguson for his first point. 57 to 46, Jamestown. Over Mount Marty with 13.45 to go. Of course, Valley City. That will be conference games next year for the Jimmies. Here's a drive to the left rack by Benyon. Drove to the hole and scored, but fouled before he made his move. So no basket. But it is a Mount Marty foul on Rugby Riken. That is his second in the third in the second half on the Lancers. Well, Cordes inbound, left baseline. There's the bucket to our left. To the right, if you're watching, Cole Woodford with a left wing three that's missing. Cole Bowen with a long outreach for the rebound for Mount Marty. 57-46, Jamestown by 11 over Mount Marty. 13-25 to go. Bowen in the lane with a drive right side. Nice move as he hit the floor and scored. And Bowen... Now has 16 points. 57 to 48 for Jamestown with 13, 10 to go. Seven and a half for Cole. Right wing Colby Vasquez, three, bottom. <laughs> Colby's first of the day and 29th of the year makes it 60 to 48 Jamestown and that's 12 points for the Millbrae, California senior. Jake Jensen up top for Tristan Ferguson for Mount Marty. Bounce came on the right side now to Micah Johnson. And a three-point try was blocked. Chandler down floor to Benyon. Silas, right wing, Cole Woodford, open three, missed everything. Benyon saved the rebound. No, he didn't. Out of bounds. Re and Mount Marty will have it. Well, Woodford was open, but shot a little too far. Mount Marty with a little better shooting themselves, up to 41% now for the game on 20 of 49. And as Bowen for Mount Marty drove to the left side. <laughs> Vasquez bumped into him and fouled him and then just went down to the floor in a heap like, oh man, you're kidding me. 15 foul. Colby, he smiles, but boy, he doesn't like it when things, when he feels he's done something incorrectly. He, he is, and that's what you want in a player, perfection. His pass inside, Chandler got a hand on it. Came to Will Cordes, down to Chandler. Baseline, scoop and score, and a lovely play by Antonio, and he's up to 10. <laughs> 62 48 for Jamestown, 12 08 left. Micah Johnson backs up between the rings for Mount Marty. Left side is for Jaden Jensen with Vasquez guarding him, and Colby got a hand on it and knocked it out of bounds. He's so active. Damon Opdahl is re entering the game now for Mount Marty. Your home for UJ Jimmies, AM 1400 KQDJ Jamestown, and 107.1 K296 HH Jamestown. 1201 remains. Mount Marty will inbound with 20 on the shot clock. On the left wing for Micah Johnson. To the baseline, past Woodford, tried to bring it to Ferguson, and couldn't handle it. Antonio Chandler took it away for Jamestown. Into the front court fast. Benyon backs up, breaks the three, hands to Vasquez. His right corner three is good. Back to back threes for Colby. Jamestown now extends it to a 17 point lead, their longest of the game. 65 48 over Mount Marty with 11.35 to go at Harold Newman Arena. As we end a big day of sports here on Jamestown 107.1. Bowen to the lane with a drive that's short. Buddy gained his own rebound, missed that too. Rebound will Cornus into the front court. Lob for Chandler, reverse over the back of his head, missed it. Tried a true reverse, it didn't go. Jensen the rebound, little playground ball there by the Jimmies. Bowen on the left wing on the angle, once a three, he's good. Cole Bowen's third made three of the day, now has 19 and 10 and a half. Mount Marty trying to hang around, but Jamestown leads 65-51, just under 11 minutes to go. 
five new Jimmies at the next dead ball. Cordes on the left wing for Colby Vasquez with a Chandler screen. Jensen hounds him and forced Colby to walk. And as Jared Lopez re-enters for Mount Marty, Spencer Barr, Jimmy Linus, Christian Leeds all come back in for Jamestown and for the first time, Brooks Carroll, the 6'3 sophomore from Jamestown, two and a half points, 1.1 rebounds a game. And Cameron Ketchum, the 6'3 junior from Billings, Montana, playing in his eighth game this season and still looking for his first points of this year. He averaged just under three points a game in 49 games in the last two seasons. Damon Optal from Mount Marty, stops in the old circle, good. Feet to Lopez, but couldn't hit the bunny. Well defended there by Ketchum, and Jimmy Linus with a Jamestown rebound. Back to Spencer Barr. With 10-19 to go, Barr with a floater from 12 feet left of the lane, didn't go. Rebound Jake Jensen, and shoves Linus as they come up court. Now to the baseline comes Jensen. Score with a foul and a scoop by Jensen, who's having a big game. He's up to 21. 65-53 for Jamestown now. Cameron Ketchum with a foul, his first team foul, number five. Jensen. To the line, rimmed out. Jensen, I should say, has 10. It's 19 for Cole Bowen. That's who's having the big game. Although it's not bad for Jensen. 10 minutes to go, 65-53 Jamestown. Spencer Barr for the Jimmies, a bounce to Linus. Inside the arc on right wing. Pass down low for Ketchum for a Brooks Carroll three on the right wing. A little too hard, rim the basket. Rebound, Micah Johnson, and Mount Marty can cut it to 10 or 9 here. Jake Jensen, spin in the lane, drives. Linus got a hand on that, I think. Linus and Leeds both there. Cameron Ketchum brings it down to Brooks Carroll. Right wing for Leeds, a hand back to Spencer Barr, and the offense is reset. Yeah, I noticed Mount Marty after that Couple of plays Linus made early in the half. Hasn't gone back in the post too much. Back away three, fade away by Barr is missing. Rebound Jensen from Mount Marty with 9-10 to go. 65-53 Jamestown by 12 after Mount Marty led much of the first half of this game. Jake Jensen for the Lancers for Cole Bowen. 19 points for him today. Fades away, left elbow of the lane, knocks it down. There's 21 for him. 65-55, Jamestown by 10, 8.50 left. Mount Marty again being the pest they were in Yankton when they caught a 16-point lead down to the eventual final total of one. Jamestown wants timeout, and we'll take it two with 8.43 to go. Jamestown 65, Mount Marty 55, and Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmies. Two Rivers Activity Center in Jamestown is now hiring. Track has openings for several part-time positions. Track offers a flexible schedule. We will work with you to make a schedule that fits your busy lifestyle. Track also offers a fun work atmosphere, and every employee of JPRD receives an employee pass, which provides free green fees at Hillcrest Golf Course, complimentary open skate at the Winter Sports Building, and free daily admission into Two Rivers Activity Center. Learn more about our open positions and apply online today at trackjamestown.com. The Frontier Fork invites you in for a true Dakota Territory dining experience. This unique location looks like an authentic 1800s fort. Head upstairs and you'll be greeted with the mouth-watering aroma of freshly grilled ribeyes and barbecued ribs. They're open from 4 to 9 Monday through Saturday, and their legendary prime rib is served on Fridays and Saturdays. Now hiring a full-time or part-time cook, call 252-7492. The Frontier Fort, on the road to the Buffalo Jamestown. with 15 on five of six shooting. Silas Benyon with 12. 65-55, Jamestown the lead in the ball. 8.40 to go here at Harold Newman Arena. In the lane, it's Benyon hesitates through a foul. It's on uh, Lopez. That's Jared Lopez's fourth foul. And team foul number four. He'll come out and rugby Riken will come back in. I was a little surprised he was left on the bench as long as he was. 
8.37 to go. Jamestown inbounds left baseline with Cordes. Lob for Antonio Chandler out front. Hand off to Will Cordes. Opened right down the middle of the lane. Scoops body left it short. And Thalen Schroeder with a rebound for Mount Marty. Who can cut it under 10. Jamestown has led by as many as 17 in this half. Schroeder knocked over Colby Vasquez who says, finally, somebody got called for doing something to me. Schroeder second. Team foul number five, not Schroeder. Oh, ooh, that's Jensen. That's number four. Is he going to stay on the floor? No. Noah Allen will come in, but I can't imagine that Colin Althier would keep Jensen off the floor for very long. Again, Mount Marty wants to play to win, even though they're not going to go to the postseason tournament and has won only two games in the league. Cordes, left wing angle three after the pass from Benyon. Bottom! Will Cornis, two threes today. Back to a 13-point Jamestown lead at 68-55 with eight minutes left. Riken in some trouble, nearly had it stripped and then threw the ball away right to Cole Woodford at Jamestown. Woodford to the right lane line, to Chandler. Makes a drive, lays it in. I, he just flew past the man guarding him, which was Schroeder. 12 points for 13 for Chandler, I should say. 70 to 55, Jamestown back to a 15 point lead. 7.33 to go. Riken left wing for Allen, back up front for Rugby Riken. I mean, there's, there's lavender in one of his shoes, there's green and red, and it's amazing. Three straight away for Bowen, no good. Rebound Vasquez. I've never seen shoes like those. Right wing for Woodford, pass knocked out of bounds by Mal Marty. As I like to say, the days when everybody had to wear the Converse Chuck Taylors are long gone, but that's fine. That's all right. Will Cordes for Jamestown with 7 and 9 left. Right wing Benyon. Silas wants a three, but missed everything. Chandler, however, grabs the offensive board on the left baseline. Hand for Woodford. Brings it to Benyon. Angle right wing three. Cordes too long. Rebound Phelan, Schroeder, and Mount Marty. Down floor on the right wing for Allen. Back up top for Riken and money it must be the shoes to Schroeder <laughs> and it to Damon Opdahl out front to Tristan Schroeder once a three good for his first three points in varsity this is a young man again they called him up from the JV to play today because they've had so many injuries 70 to 58 Jamestown 625 to go all the way to the hole Vasquez drives and scores 17 for Colby and 10 and a half 72-58, Jamestown leads Mount Marty with 6.14 left. Greg Eulen with long ago his coat off. From the Jamestown bench looking at his defense as a three is hit by Noah Allen over it. 14th three of the year for the Newton, Iowa sophomore. 72-61, Jamestown over Mount Marty with 5.53 remaining. Benyon ball fake, baseline, drives, hits. And again, good speed there by Benyon, and he is up to 14 and nine in the half. Four Jimmies are in double figures. 74-61, Jamestown leads, 5.35 to go. Bowen on a drive past Chandler, fouled by Chandler as he hit it. 23 for Bowen, Chandler's second foul. And it's 74-63 for Jamestown. 17 foul two, but this is to complete a three-point play for Bowen. He hasn't been to the line yet. 77% for the year coming in. And this is to cut it back to a 10-point game. This team won't go away, and he's good. 74-64, Jamestown. Five and a half minutes to go. And Greg Euland on the bench thinking, mm, we've seen this Show play out before in Yankton where the Lancers made it tight after being 16 down in the second half of that game. They were 17 down in this half. Long three, long one by Benyon, and he shot it long and missed everything left side and out of bounds. And Silas with probably not the shot that was wanted there and Mount Marty with a chance to cut the Jamestown lead under 10. 5.05 left. Jimmy 74, Lancers 64. Rugby Riken for Mount Marty. For Damon Opdahl. 
Bounce in the lane for Tristan Ferguson. Half hook, he's good. First bucket for Ferguson. The lead is eight for Jamestown. 74-66, and there's still 4.48 left. Sense the nervousness in here now. Cordes to Chandler and a push by Mount Marty by Ferguson. That's his first. That's team foul number six. So there's the last one to give from Mount Marty. Jimmy Linus returns for Cole Woodford. So Linus and Chandler both in. More size for Jamestown here as Cordes will inbound on the right baseline. Will finds Benyon. Angle on the right wing will opt all to guard him. Now Linus with that high ball screen for him. And to the lane and for a jumper from 14. That's good by Benyon. 16 for Silas, 11 since halftime. 76-66 Jamestown, 4.20 to go. Oh, a hook pass from Riken. Didn't reach Bowen, instead it reached the Mount Marty bench out of bounds. Dalen Schroeder returns, right into the bench. Mount Marty can't afford any more empty trips, really. They're down 76-66 with 4.18 to go to Jamestown, and it's Jimmy Ball. Cordes with a left-hand dribble. Allen not guarding him closely. Lobbed the Linus right elbow of the lane. Double high post here with Linus and Chandler. And the lob, ooh. Just made it to Vasquez. Colby in the lane, 11 in the shot clock, one hand runner, good. Well, that made something out of nothing there, and Colby's up to 19. Pass nearly didn't reach him, and then they scored anyway. 78-66 Jamestown with 3.48 to go. Bowen with a screen by Ferguson, baseline for an Allen right wing angle three, good. Noah Allen's second three of the half. 78-69 for Jamestown. Mount Marty cut it under 10 again, still 3.33 remaining. Chandler, hard screen, left it for Vasquez to Cordes on the right wing for Benyon, baseline, Optal cut him off well. Right corner three, Cordes, short, Ferguson rebounds. Mount Marty can cut into it a little more, still 3.15 to go. Bowen, Ferguson tries to screen. All loose, picked up by Optal on the right wing. Damon for the right corner for Schroeder. Angle three, Allen wants it. Misses long this time. And Colby Vasquez secures that rebound for Jamestown and the Jimmy slow it down with 2.55 remaining. Leading 78-69 over Mount Marty. Cordes with a line of screen to the top of the key. Benyon to Vasquez, angle left wing. Three for Colby, good! Third three of the half, Colby Vasquez has 22 for the game and 15 in the half, and it's a 12-point Jamestown lead. Big hoop there for Colby, 81-69, 2.24 to go. Cole Bowen, Benyon trying to cut him off on the baseline, knock the ball out of bounds. And here comes Jake Jensen back in. I am frankly surprised he was out as long as he was, but he's back in for... Thalen Schroeder, Jensen with four fouls, but it's down to 217 left. And Mount Marty's going to score every time down now. They're down 12 to Jamestown, 81 69. Up to all in the left corner with a three air ball. Ferguson with the offensive board, though. And it's for Jake Jensen in the lane. Cradled it, drove, missed. Rebound, follow. Good by Bowen. Timeout, Mount Marty. 24 for Bowen. The lead for Jamestown at 10. 81-71 over Mount Marty with 2.06 to play on Jamestown 107.1. This is the voice of the Jimmys. At Unison Bank, we provide financial solutions for customers to meet their needs today and achieve their dreams tomorrow. From personal banking services like checking accounts, mortgage, and auto loans, to business banking services. At Unison Bank, we offer financial solutions with prompt responses and quality service. Visit unisonbank.com for more information. Located in Jamestown, Linton, and Wishick, as well as Gilbert, Arizona. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lending. 
From Baby Bump and beyond, let me help you exercise safely during and after your pregnancy. I'm Brittany Ganarelli, the area's only pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist and doctor of physical therapy. Let me help you safely gain confidence in movement during and after your pregnancy. Come and see me at Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center. That's Apex Physical Therapy and Wellness Center in Jamestown, 701-952-2739. That's 952-2739. Once down a triple zero yet, there's still 2.06 to play. Jamestown holding off Mount Marty, leading 81 to 71. Mount Marty's in the bonus, 17 fouls on Jamestown, 16 fouls on Mount Marty, so the next one then will put Jamestown into the bonus. Four timeouts left for Jamestown and three for Mount Marty. Pressure by Mount Marty. At least they show it as Benyon brings it into Cordes. Optol still on him. Now into the front court with two minutes to play. Jamestown up 10, 81, 71 over Mount Marty. Cordes to the top of the right wing. Will is guarded over there by Damon Optol. 10 on the shot clock as Vasquez starts on the right baseline. What a half Colby's having. Under the bucket, hooked at the Linus to end Jimmy Jam. 12 for Jimmy, 83-71 Jamestown. 90 seconds left, desperation now for Mount Marty. Allen top of the key, right wing Jensen. Take the three, Chandler's there to guard him. Tries a baseline drive. Now kicks it for Bowen Angle on the left wing. 119 left, where they can't waste time, they're down 12. Bowen runs over Benyon, offensive foul. Well, that might have been their last chance. Bowen second. Benyon took the charge. And Jamestown has it back with 73 seconds to go up 12 as Cole Woodford returns for Antonio Chandler. And again, another very solid game off the bench for Tony with 13 points. It's into Vasquez. Mount Marty's got a foul to have any glimmer of hope. Now, oh, they made a steal. It's Bowen who took it away. Cole drives for a layup. He's good. And Bowen now has 26, 83, 73, 28, I should say. But there's only a minute left now. Vasquez for Benyon. Now they got a foul. They can't make steals. Benyon right past Optol to the lane. And there is a foul on, if it's Jensen, he's done. It's not. It's Bowen's third. Team foul number eight. Jensen, Jensen said, who, me? I don't want to leave. It wasn't. He didn't have to leave. Benyon. Hit a free throw earlier. Silas has had a good half in his own right. He's up to 16. Front end of the one and one. Good. 84-73, James Tumble. This team's foul shooting's been good lately. They're 14 out of 15 today. One more for Silas. Good again. 18 for the junior, 85-73 Jamestown with 43 seconds to go. Mount Marty with Bowen and a foul Jamestown didn't need to commit there. And Benyon his second to put Bowen on the line. There are only 41 seconds to play and it's a 12 point lead. But not recommended coaches say Bowen to the line. Hit it, he rolled it in on the front end of the one and one. What a day for Cole, 29 for him now. 85-74 for Jamestown over Mount Marty with 41 seconds to go. This is for 30, yes sir. 21 in this half for Cole Bowen. Micah Johnson and Jared Lopez return for Noah Allen and Tristan Ferguson for Mount Marty. Full court pressure by Mount Marty, down 10 with 40 seconds to go. Cordes in a triple team right over near us, and a foul's called. Well, they had to try to take the ball away or foul, and it ended up with a foul on Optol. That's his first and team foul number nine. So Cordes, 19 foul, so the last one and one for Will. 
79% for the year, his first time there today. Will with eight, he's hit a couple of threes. Front end of the one and one with 36.6, lucky he's good. And it's 86.75 Jamestown, and I think he can get ready to ring it over there. We'll have one more. Good again. 87.75 Jamestown with 33 seconds to go. They can get it ready over there in the tower, I think. Johnson with the drive to the lane, missed. Linus trying to hold on to the rebound, then he lost it out of bounds. So Mount Marty will have it with 26 seconds left, but It'll be six of eight and three in a row for Jamestown. And to 10 and eight in the G Pack with two to go. Briarcliff Wednesday, DWU next Saturday. Jensen faked a drive. Now past Linus, layup, fell in after hanging on the rim for three seconds. But it's 80 77, 87 to 77. Jamestown, it's down floor for Vasquez. The Jimmies can wait to be fouled if Mount Marty wants to again. And Jensen does for his last one with 6.9 to go. 12 today for Jensen, 10th team foul two, so it means two free throws. And a big one with Briarcliff, of course, uh, the Jimmies beat them the first time around in Sioux City. That's Wednesday. Jimmy women beat Briarcliff the first time around. That's an enormous game for Jamestown's women here on Wednesday. Hope to see you here at Harold Newman Arena. Women start things at 6. We'll be on the air at 5.30. And Colby Vasquez will cap off a huge second half and a huge day with two more at the line, and he missed it. But he has 22 in the game and 15 in the half. He has another. He's good. His 23rd point, and that's a career high. Five seconds left is to the baseline. Uh, shot by Opdahl misses, but it's followed in by Johnson. But Jamestown can only inbound. All I have to do is inbound one more time. They do, and put it in the record book, baby, and ring the victory bell. Jamestown again holds off Mount Marty but this time it wasn't a one-point win, it was a nine-point victory as the Jimmies. A flurry at the start of the second half after a slumbering offense went through most of the first half of this game. Jamestown got it going early in the second half and they take the eight-point win at 88-79 to improve to 15 and 11 overall and they're 10 and eight in the G-Pack. Mount Marty for their third straight loss and this long, long, long year continues for them. And it has only one game left. Six and 19 overall, and they are two and 17 in the G-Pack.